Welcome back to Adam Sarwatari Extreme. I'm going to go on a limb here that most of you are here to see the 7. For those of you that are unfamiliar, this is my first race car, the RX-7. I campaigned it for quite some time. It had quite a few records and it ran 8 seconds in the quarter mile. I don't remember the exact time, mile per hour, or when it was done. You'll have to forgive me because I'm getting quite old and forgetful. I can't even remember what I was doing yesterday. Why is this car here? Well, luckily, I didn't ever need the money for my race cars, so I kept both of them. I actually kept them just as mementos, and in case if my daughter wanted to sometime drive them, she would have them or be able to use them. At this current time, my daughter is more interested in driving other things. But I brought them out because all of you wanted to see them. And this car in particular, on a good day in a straight line, is faster than any of my Lambos, Ferraris, Porsches. And it does it all with a 1.3 liter rotary engine. Where are we at now? Well, this car has been sitting for over 15 years. All of you have the skill sets to know that that's not a good thing. There's a myriad of things that need to be worked on. And beyond that, the engine needs to be rebuilt. The trans needs to be rebuilt. The rear end needs to be rebuilt. I know what you're all thinking. Why exactly did Adam leave it in that type of condition? Well, I didn't have a choice. We were insanely busy, really far behind because of a whole bunch of reasons I don't want to even get into on the NSX. So it got shelved. I had intended to revisit it. But after I retired, I was really more focused on buying other supercars. So it kind of got shelved and would have remained shelved, except that you guys wanted to see it. I brought it back out. And even just getting it back out was a hassle. Coming out of building four, we actually had some slight mishaps. So it just came back from the body shop because I always want everything I have to look as pristine as possible. So where do we go from here? My YouTube channel was started to give people a look into the experiences of owning supercars, driving them, how to work on them, possibly save them money. That was the foundation of it. So now I am on a very short leash. I want to take care of all of you, but my attorneys and my accountants have advised me that these cars were written off when I was racing. So since the channel centers around the tax benefits of my supercars, I have to be very careful. Now, I've convinced them to allow me to work as much as I can on these cars to incorporate the content to take care of all of you because I appreciate all of you that have followed me all these years. But there needs to be some understanding here. On the other side of the channel, without subscriptions coming in, comments, thumbs up, people watching, even if they weren't watching the video and just running it so as it has runtime, the channel is going to become too lopsided. And if legal counsel or my accountants advise me that I need to stop working on the race cars, I don't go against them. And the reason why they'd be advising me of that is because I'd be at risk with our friends at the IRS. And I'm sure all of you that have businesses completely understand this. So, best case scenario, both sides of the channel grow. Worst case scenario, the race car side grows because all your fanatics, the other side falls off and I actually have to shelf the race car side, return back to the supercars to build that side up, and then I would return back to this side to take care of all you. Which would be fine, but the process would take a very long time. And of course, this is why I want to be upfront and be honest with you. So, there are some issues, of course, with the RX-7, and one major one is, is that with the engine being blown, Abel, the rotary god, as most of you are familiar with, taught me how to build rotary engines 20 years ago. I haven't built a rotary engine for over 15 years. And again, remember the whole getting old, not remembering things? I for sure cannot do it. So I would have to ask Abel for a huge favor. And all of you that know Abel will know that when you ask Abel for a favor, he is always the first one to take care of you. That's never the problem. The problem is somewhere down the road, you're going to need to return that favor. And you never know what it is until he tells you. So, I'm happy to take that obligation on, but it is a huge hassle for him as well. Most of you are familiar with his shop, FR Performance. They're always behind because everyone who wants to go fast in a rotary goes there. So I don't know how long it would take for him to get the engine. 
And even if he came down here to re-educate me and help me, he's so busy down there, I don't know when he will get here. So these are all things that will complicate the situation that possibly he and I can work out. I don't know exactly where everything would go from here. But all I can say is all of you are welcome to come along for the ride and we can see what happens. And hopefully the powers that be don't give me the red light to stop on the racing side so I can continue doing this content for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.